Hello! So I thought that instead of just telling you about my new course, Windows 10 Made Simple, I'd show you. So I've got my laptop set up here, so let's get stuck in. So this is the contents page for the entire course. Now the first thing you get when you join, the first thing you'll see won't be this. First of all you'll see a welcome video which goes over how it all works and how to use it in a bit more detail than I'm going to now. But what I want to show you now is not the welcome video, but how the actual course itself works. So let's have a look at it and have a look inside some of the parts. So as I said, this is the contents page. And over on the right, this big chunk here lists all of the different parts and lessons. We did try to think of a friendlier word than lesson, but we couldn't really think of one. But all, of the, all of the parts and lessons of the course. And you can scroll down to see them there. And over on the left, it tells you the title of the course, Windows 10 Made Simple, and how to get the most out of it. And it also shows you how far through the course you are. I'm only 3% through it at the moment, because I've uh, only just logged in in order to show you this. So this is just the contents page. You don't actually learn anything on here, but it shows you what all of the different parts are. And we're going to have a look at some of them. We'll start with this lesson one. Let's start at the beginning, why not? I might show you a couple of different ones, actually. Uh, now, you can see this one's sort of greyed out and it's got a tick next to it. That's because I've already done this part. That's why I'm 3% through. But that's fine. You can go back to bits you've already done and do them again. So I'll just click on it. The Kitten Caboodle Lesson 1. Here we are. And this is the way each lesson works. You've got some text here to read. This lesson is all about the kit itself, computers, laptops, mice, keyboards, that sort of thing, and so on. And then after a bit of that writing, there's a video. Now, pretty much each lesson starts with one of these types of videos. They're a sort of cartoony type one, just to introduce what the lesson's about. So you just click on the play symbol here, and it starts playing. The kit and caboodle. To the first lesson. Before we get into the details of exactly how to use Windows 10 itself, so I'll just pause that. Lesson, I'll just pause it so you can listen to the, the me that's talking now instead of the me in that video. By the way, every time I've said click on, you could also tap on it if you've got a touch screen or if you're using a tablet or anything like that to watch it. So this is a sort of cartoon video, like I say, and it just introduces the topic before we actually get stuck into it and makes sure you know what the lesson is about. It is really important because if you don't know what it's about, then it won't make much sense and you might not know why you'd want to know it. So that's where we start. But then once you've finished watching that video, you scroll down and there'll be another little chunk of writing, different devices that can run Windows 10 and then another video. This one's a little bit longer uh, than the last one. It says here it's six minutes and 51 seconds. Each video is fairly short. We've tried to keep them down to no more than five or 10 minutes so that it's much easier to take it all in. So you have a, a shortish video, then a bit more writing, then another video. And that way it's much easier to make sure you remember everything. So you'd get to this video and click on play. The first time that you can run Windows 10 on is a traditional desktop PC, like this one. And they usually come in several parts. And I'll just pause that again so that you can hear the me that's meant to be talking to you instead of the me in that video. So in this video, I'd go on to explain all about the different types of device you can use with Windows 10. And when you'd finished watching that one, you could scroll down to the next bit. And again, there's a bit of text, a bit longer this time, and then another video to watch and so on as you go down through the lesson. Now it did say at the start this particular lesson is a bit longer than most of the others, but I should say you don't have to finish a whole lesson in one go if you don't want to. You can stop at any point and come back and carry on from wherever you've got to. In fact, you don't even have to carry on from where you've got to. If you want to go back because you aren't quite sure about something or there's a bit you just want to see again to make sure you've understood it, you can, that's fine. You can just scroll back up and watch one of these videos again. It doesn't matter how many times you watch it, as many times as you like. In fact, you can even re-watch a video straight away. You don't have to wait. 
if you watch one and think, oh, I think I understand that, but I just want to see it again just to make sure, then when you get to the end, just click or tap on play again and you can watch it again straight away. Now let me go back to the contents page. So I'll click on back to contents and here we are. Now I want to show you a video from one of the other lessons. So let's pick this one, lesson four, keyboard skills and working with text. So I'll click on that one and it goes straight to it. And you've noticed that it didn't matter that I hadn't done lessons two and three. I was able to go straight to lesson four. Although we've designed this course to start at the beginning and carry on through to the end, you don't have to. If there's a particular thing you want to do, you can go straight to it. You can do it in whatever order you like and it'll still keep track of which bits you've finished so you don't have to think, oh now did I do lesson seven or was that lesson eight? It'll be able to remember which ones you've completed. So here's lesson four. Like lesson one, it starts off with a bit of writing explaining about what the lesson's about. And then if I scroll down, there's another of these very short cartoon videos to introduce it. I'm not going to play that one because you've seen one of those. But what I wanted to show you is the next video, or one of the next ones. So again, there's a bit of writing and another video. But this one works in a slightly different way. Instead of being a video of me uh, or a cartoon one, this one is video of the screen. So I'll just play parts of this. We won't watch all of it because it's six minutes long. This is the Windows Mailer, the app that you use to send and read emails in Windows 10. So I'll just pause that. So you can see this one, instead of being a video camera pointing at me or a cartoon, is a video of the screen. <laughs> Not much has happened on the screen so far in this one. But as Julie demonstrates how to use this program, you'll be able to see her mouse moving as she clicks on things and things she types to see exactly what she's doing. So you'll be able to watch exactly how to do whatever it is we're telling you how to do. It's like us actually being there showing you. And most of the course is made up of videos like this where you actually see what to do. So if I scroll down through this lesson, there's a bit of practice suggestions there and then a bit more writing. And then here's another video. This one's a bit zoomed in so you can see something a bit more closely. But you can see it's another video where you actually see the screen. And then carrying on down the lesson, some picture in the text there. And then here we are, another video in the same kind of format. So that's what the course is made up of mainly. There's bits of writing where that's the best way to explain something. Then videos that are sort of cartoony just to introduce each topic. Some videos of me talking to a camera. And then lots of videos like this one that I'm recording now where you can actually see our computer screen to see exactly how we're doing it. And as I say, you can go through it in any order you like and you're in control of your pace. You don't have to do it at any particular time. Do it when it suits you. Start and stop whenever you like. Do whatever bits you want to at whatever time. And if you want to go back and redo some parts, you can do them as many times as you want. So there you go. That's a brief look at how it all works. If you'd like to know a bit more, including about the rather unusual guarantee we offer and the bonus course that's included, I'll put a link to the full details underneath this video. So you can just click on that to read all the details. And if you've already heard enough and decided that you do want to join, I'll put a link to how you can do that underneath as well. So that you can just get stuck straight in without having to plow through all the details. One more thing I should say though, we're only opening the course to new people until the end of November. Now, once you're in the course, we're not going to snatch it all away from you, that, that will stay. Uh, but we're only opening it to new people until the end of November. You've probably seen all the Christmas things in the shop. I know I have. December is fast approaching. Uh, so if you're thinking about it and think it might be something you're interested in, it's probably best not to leave it too long. Now might be a good time to have a look and maybe uh, decide about joining. So anyway, I've put the links underneath the video and thanks for watching.